How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to set up your iPad Air. This also will go for other iPads as well, but primarily since the Air is a new one, we're going to focus on that one. First thing you're going to do is choose your language, but never fear if you choose the wrong one, we can always go back and change it later in the settings. I'm going to tap English here. Next it will ask you to select your region. I'll go ahead and select the United States. Next it will ask you to choose a Wi-Fi network. It, you will need this to be able to set up your iPad. If you do not have a wireless network, if you only have wired internet at home, unfortunately you will have to uh, plug your iPad up to a computer and make sure that iTunes is downloaded in order to set up your iPad. Those are the only two ways to set it up. It does require the internet or a computer. So, if you do have wireless, in, if you do not have wireless internet, but you have internet at your house, if you go to a store and buy a router and set that up, that will allow you to set it up wireless. Okay, in the event that you do not have a computer. So my network is it's Morphin Time, and the code is Awesome Sauce, coined after the Andy Dwyer from uh, Parks and Recreation. We're gonna tap Join. And that will take us past this screen here once it connects. So we'll do some activating. Next it will ask you to turn on or off your location services. What this does, this works really well for, for example, GPS. If you wanted to map out directions, it will use your location so you can see where you are as well as where you're trying to go. Now it also works for, for apps like Movie Phone. Maybe you're trying to find a movie theater in your area. If you have the location settings enabled, then it will use your address or use where you are to show the closest theater. If you thought that's too much information, you know what Apple to know, you can tap the disable. I usually enable it, no big deal. You can always go back later and it disable it in the settings. Now on this next screen, you have set up iPad. So you have a couple of options here. You can either set it, set it up as a new iPad, which means that uh, if you had a previous iPad, uh, or basically setting it up as new is setting it up fresh and blank so it won't have any apps won't have any information it will be blank now the restore from iCloud backup is if you had a previous iPad and you did back it up to the iCloud you will actually be able to access that backup and what that means is you can basically log in in fact let me show you because I just did this so um, if you do use the new iPad setting from there it's really simple a um, couple extra questions. I want to show people that are restoring it from an iCloud backup because it gives you a little more advanced there. So let's tap restore from iCloud backup. It will ask you to sign into iCloud, which for some people it's the same information as your um, iTunes, but uh, my case is a little different because of uh, some logistical reasons. So uh, let me go ahead and sign in here. One second. I haven't used the uh, Apple keyboard in a while here, so just getting a little used to it. Okay. All right. So I put in my uh, iCloud username and password. If you put it in correctly, it will take you right to terms and conditions. We're going to tap agree in the bottom right corner. It will say, Are you sure you agree? Tap agree. It'll take a few more minutes. And so the benefit of restoring it from an iCloud backup means that um, anything that was on your previous iPad when you did back it up to iCloud, it'll put it right on the iPad for you. So for example, if you have certain apps that you always use, if you were to choose one of your previous iCloud backups, it'll put all those apps, whatever was already on there, I mean apps, your wallpaper background, to music you had, to photos, to contacts, to notes, all that. It will basically mirror what was on the old iPad and put that on the new one. So it cuts down all the work you have because if you were to set it up like new, that means you would have to download all those apps all over again. You'd have to sync all the music again, get all those photos. It's a lot more work. So if you did have a previous iPad, definitely I recommend to restore it from an iCloud backup. If you need to know how to do that, I have a video on that and it's on my channel. Uh, so I did just back up my iPad a um, couple of minutes ago. Let's see. We're going to tap show all backups. And it's kind of crazy. I just backed it up 
and it does not show probably because I did like like literally a couple of minutes ago. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and restore it to my iPad Mini backup, which is right here. So we're gonna tap on there, and you're gonna see. Oh, so now now you need to put in your uh, Apple ID and password for that. So that's a little bit different. So now. Apple ID is what you're going to, well, the Apple ID is in there. The password for your Apple ID, that's what you use when you're going to download apps or music or videos. So that's how this is different from your iCloud. For some people, it's the same code. We're going to tap next. And so now it's going to say it's restoring. So when it finishes, you guys are going to see that you're not going to be looking at a new iPad, you're going to be looking because a new iPad only has certain apps, it has the same wallpaper. You're going to look at an, an iPad that has a bunch of apps on there, it's going to have a different wallpaper because it's literally going to be everything that was on my iPad mini. All right, it's just about done here. So, it's done, it will take you to this screen. Looks like it is doing a little bit of loading. While it loads, do some tidying work here. One thing about the iPad screen, it does get really dirty. The fingerprints really do stack up. It's one thing I don't like about it, but you know, it's all good. All right, so when you do restore to the backup here, it does take you kind of back to the beginning welcome screen. So here we go, restore is complete. Now we're going to tap continue. It's going to ask you to put in your iCloud password again. Sheesh, Luis, how many times do they want this thing? Okay, here we go. Next, updating iCloud settings. Here it's going to ask you, do you want to create a password? I do not at this time. If you're going to have the iPad around a lot of people that you may not trust, you may want to set up a code. I'm going to bypass it this time. Don't add passcode and continue. Welcome. Tap getting started. And here it is. So um, if you notice, this iPad here is asking again for my Apple ID. So I put it in the wrong place. They need to just save it. You will notice that the iPad does not look new gonna have a bunch of my apps on there so again I did restore it from the backup that was on my iPad mini so this is kind of cool because it cuts down all the work that you normally have to do to re-download all those apps you normally use so this is how you set up the iPad Air from an iCloud backup now if you say hey I really don't want to have the same stuff I want to kind of put new stuff on there Check out my video where I'm going to walk you through how to set it up uh, like a brand new iPad. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful. Oh, let me explain a few more things. So um, a lot of the apps are going to look dark, and that's because it needs to download each app one by one. So it still will take some time, but instead of you having to go and, and pick each app and do it, the uh, iPad is doing it for you. So right now, it's going to take each app one by one, and it's going to download each one. So once they're not dark anymore, that's how you know they are downloaded, okay? And then it'll take a little bit more time. It'll sync your photos, your contacts, your music, all that. So you kind of want to let it sit. Make sure it's, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi. And um, just let it do its thing, and it'll be ready in a little while. All right? Hope you guys found this helpful. Again, like, favorite, share the video. Subscribe to you take videos. And keep watching, all right? Have a good one.